Welcome back to the channel, you kooks. We are the Van Kooks, Danny and Kevin, and for the past five years, we've been traveling the world by van from Australia to New Zealand to Mexico and finally to the USA. We found so much freedom, connection, courage, and community along the journey. And with the Canadian border being closed, Alaska 2020 will have to wait. So we've decided to enjoy and explore some of the northern states. In this episode, we're going to show you how to beat the crowds at one of the busiest national parks. Come along as we show you where to find wildlife, our favorite hikes, and where to take the best pictures of this magical place. All right, guys, we are in Glacier National Park. We're here at the uh, National Park sign. And as you can see, there's nobody here. That's because the kooks know how to go to the national parks and stay away from all the people. So if you're wondering how we do it, you're just gonna have to watch. So we're gonna go on some cool hikes and try to get on the paddleboard and do a bunch of other stuff while we're here. And maybe it'll be in solitude. The International Peace Park. Mountain squeezed, fresh water. We're at the Shepherd Memorial Fountain. Apparently this fountain used to work. It doesn't anymore. So now it comes out of this PVC pipe and it's uh, fresh spring water. So when in Rome, we're gonna fill up. We're here in Glacier and Per usual, it's early, so we're getting in for free. But we did have to buy pass the other day. Danny was late. <laughs> extra so now we're about to hit the going to the sun road and get up to the Highline Trail. We're going to take you along with us. Alright guys, it's 7.45 and Glacier is no joke. Logan Pass is full. Huh? The park isn't even open and the parking lot is full. So if you want to hike anything from Logan Pass, get, get here. here at 4 a.m. <laughs> get here at 4 a.m. because we're just or waiting out the trail like everyone headed straight to the trail from Logan Pass parking lot and it's just going to be a cluster. Hey. It's eight, it's already full. Give you a look. So yeah, it's Disneyland up here. Yeah. <laughs> well guys, we are chilling in the van. We're gonna wait out the crowds and I think we're gonna get real lucky because it started to absolutely downpour while we've been waiting. And yeah. People are not so excited anymore, but we're in our home. Danny's fixing the toilet fan. We're DIYing. So yeah, we're gonna get out there, but it's good to have a van. It's good to be a kook. Yeah, it's good to be a kook. It's kooky over here. It's kooky out there. It's kooky everywhere. <laughs> a bit off topic here. We're still waiting the rain out. Danny is working on the fan. Uh, tell them what was going on. So before when we were kind of stationary, I washed the toilet top part in like some bleach and the soldering on the fan came off. So um, they sent us a new fan and I put it on backwards. So it was blowing poopy air into the van for who knows how long. <laughs> But with that being said, it still like wasn't very noticeable. We've had it like yeah. that for almost three months. So Nature's Hair Composting Toilet, check them out. We'll have a link in the description. They're really legit. Yeah, they actually sent me that part for free too. I was trying to pay for it. I just couldn't find it on their site. And they said, what's your address? We'll send you two. So if you're out there and you're broke, I got you. All right, we are on the Highline Trail. The parking lot was crazy packed, but the trail has actually been nice since we've started, but it's really beautiful up here. Just wait for more. But yeah, we're going to see how far we can make it. Well, if you're afraid of heights, this might not be the trail. The high line. But this is beautiful. Yeah. 
We're still on the Highline Trail. Um, I will note that it's a massive trail and it really like spreads out. The parking lot was packed, but it hasn't been too terrible on the trail. It's been pretty nice. It's easily one of the most scenic trails we've ever been on. For how busy the parking lot was, once you get on the trail, you actually have lots of space between you and everyone's pretty courteous. So. There's also a good deal of exposure, so make sure you got your sunscreen. We got the uh, sun hats and sun um, shirts, SPF 50. It's kind of cool right now, but I'll show you a tip I do with the shirt later here. All right, now we're on the uh, Weeping Wall Glacier Overlook. It's 0.6 miles, and as you can tell, it's straight up but yeah should be beautiful you guys at home sit tight and relax we'll do the work for you I'm gonna bag another peak for you Ian all right ladies and gentlemen I hope you were relaxed but this is unreal Mountain goat, it just climbed down the front side. We saw a mountain goat. I tried to get a shot, it was just like perched up like perfect. This is the weeping wall, and we came to get a view of the glacier. It's pretty incredible up here. We were gonna go to that lookout over there, but someone told us to come here instead. So we just went 0.6 up the uh, Grinnell Glacier Overlook. And as you can see, it's pretty amazing. Pretty tough on the way up, but pretty chill on the way down. We're flying down and then we got 6.8 miles to go along back down the Highline Trail. So let's go enjoy some more views, guys. Oh man, it keeps on giving. It's so scenic the whole way. It's worth every step. You guys gotta get out here. Now we're gonna show you how we stay cool. And these hikes where we're very exposed, it's heating up. Kevin's shirt is already wet from the last one, if you can tell us. Yeah, shorts we are wet. soaked the shirts and then we just uh, I'm gonna do the same. And just like that, it goes from 70 degrees to cold. We got these uh, 50 SPF cool shirts from Hallie Hansen. We got the deal thanks to uh, Matt Pikowski. Thanks for the pro deal. But yeah, <laughs> you just soak them, throw your hood on, there's sunscreen, so you'll just be like cool in your sunscreen. And now we feel like a whole new crew. We're back. We just did the uh, Grinnell Glacier Overlook. 15.5 miles to where we went. And we are tired. That we're, was hard. We're worn out. We did that hike. We did 15 miles Lincoln Peak the other day. We did 10 miles the other day. So we're at about 40 miles. <laughs> and we're cooking some bacon. Can't even see us. <laughs> it's early. We're trying to get the sunrise up here on Hidden Lake Overlook. It's almost 6 a.m. We are on the Hidden Lake Trail. Had an interesting night. We got moved on by the rangers at like 11 p.m. So be on the lookout for that. We come out here. Pro tip, don't open the door. I shouldn't have opened the door. I think they would have just left. They left a few other vans, but right. trying to. Uh, That's a good pro tip for all 500 of you that watch. Yeah, for all 500 of you that have been so gracious to watch. Yeah. <laughs> the park rangers come to your van at midnight and they're pounding on the door. Um, with, they can't see you. Yeah, they can't see in our van. And 
I don't know why I got up. They scared me, so I was like, Hey, move. Oh. Dad, move. And they're out there absolutely hammering on the door. So they got us, they gave us a warning. So. But we did notice that if you don't open the door, they move on to the next car. Yeah, so you lucky ones out there that are actually watching this, <laughs> stay in the van. But yeah, we got a few miles to go. Hidden Lake Trail. Maybe we'll figure out what else we can do around here for the day. And then we're gonna head to uh, Bowman Lake, I think, this afternoon for a few days. So we got a multi-use trail here. We're just on a little offshoot here from the Hidden Lake. Figured we'd just get a few more miles. We're hitting the dragon's back. At least that's what we were told at Hidden Lake. But yeah, it's pretty intense. Well, we're at Road Inn. At least for the kooks. It's beautiful up here. I think it might be called Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail, yeah. But yeah, we're not gonna Look at these 360 degree views. This is insane, guys. Got the hawk spirit. We're back from the hike. It was about seven miles round trip. I'm not sure the elevation gain, but it was probably a couple thousand feet, maybe 1,500, 2,000 feet, but yeah, we're back and it's like noon and yeah, the parking lot is full. So if you guys are coming up to Logan Pass, uh, get here early. Get here before the park opens because by the time the park is open, the lot is full. And you get in for free. Yeah. So remember that guys. And we highly recommend that trail we just did. It was so awesome. Yeah. We just cooked and I think we're going to head to Bowman Lake now and head back down the road. Ooh. Should be interesting driving this thing westward. Okay, we've made it to Bowman Lake, but it's closed. Yeah, it's closed to all watercraft. They, have, they don't have enough staff to check your invasive species. So we'll just look at it. Yeah, I wish. We'll go, we'll go hit Lake McDonald. So the road out to Bowman Lake is um, six miles of dirt road to get there, like one way, and then six miles out. And there's a significant amount of dirt road to get to uh, Pullman. So just plan on that. There's a lot of bumps and kind of like unmaintained roads during this time, I think during COVID. Um, and then also Bowman Lake, actually all the lakes are closed to watercrafts because they just don't have enough staffing to check the, your aquatic species uh, tags at the lake and make sure you have them. Um, they have been having problems with uh, invasive species, so make sure that you do get it checked out so that you're not bringing something and killing all this beautiful nature. We're out here on Lake McDonald, just uh, getting a nice sunset paddle mission on. We did get the uh, boats, you gotta get them inspected. You basically just spray them down with water and uh, then they give you a little tag. You can see it back there. Yeah, and we're good to go and it's beautiful out here and we'll see how the sunset goes. Give you the view that I'm seeing. Ooh. All right, if you look out there, you can see all the uh, peaks that the kooks summited in the last few days. <laughs> and it's just a real nice relaxing vibe here. There's literally no one out except for like 
maybe five people on this lake. Earlier there was like 300. <laughs> it's, the only, it's the only lake you can boat on. So. Yeah, the other lakes are closed to watercrafts, but it's all good. And we're gonna soon paddle in and we'll show you guys the uh, van life underground gathering going down at the uh, Spot X camping spot. So you guys will enjoy that. Hopefully I can capture it, it won't be too dark. Fixing up some brekkie. We're here at uh, the Spot X campground. It's a secret spot, no one knows about it. It really cleared up, but at night, this place is like a van gathering. And you know, SC Nomads, like, how do you guys keep the secret spot secret? Well, we call every single place we ever go to Spot X. And I don't know, this place hasn't been kept a secret though. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you find a good spot, you know, just tell a few of your friends, but don't, uh, Posted on iOverlander because we talked to a ranger and they said this spot X is going to turn into a uh, day use. So, van life campsites are dwindling. Yeah, they're closing left and right. Maybe we'll just open a Vancouver Village van sanctuary. Yeah, so tell us where you want to see the uh, first Vancouver Village van sanctuary coming 2021. It's actually a good idea. What do you guys think? <laughs> but we're just making some breakfast and I think we're trying to plan where we're gonna go. This may be close to the end of the episode here. We got we have we haven't had service the whole time we've been here, so we gotta go look what's next on our route. And we gotta go check all your comments from our last video. <laughs> we're excited <laughs> to write back. <laughs> yeah, so like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll always have more content coming for all 600 of you that watch our vlogs. We greatly appreciate that, so we thanks do. guys. And we love giving you guys tips, and one of you guys hit us up on Instagram, said you're going to check them out, so we're just going to keep them coming if you guys like them. So, see you next time guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>